Hi everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. Today is day 22 of our March Fitness Challenge and the sun is shining so brightly through the window. It is morning and it is so nice to have that sun just beating in the window. We are supposed to have temperatures this week up in the upper 50s here in lower Michigan and I'm excited about getting out and walking in the warmer temperatures. It'll be more enjoyable and I might go a little further because it's warmer and I'm not freezing while I'm walking. And so we'll be getting out and doing that later on. But right now I am sitting here um, drinking my water. I'm gonna try something different. I drink Element every single day and I usually drink Element right after I start, um, right after I finish my coffee. And today I'm just having water because I am all out of the Element Raw, which is the unflavored electrolyte mix and it does not have any stevia in it or anything. And it is for sure safe when you are fasting, it will not break your fast. There has been some great debate whether the flavored Element breaks a fast or not. I have done a lot of research on it and it's another one of those things. It's just up to the individual. And on Element's website, it says that they do not break a fast. So I've been drinking them all along while I've been doing my fasting. I drink the flavored ones because I really enjoy them because they're just really tasty. I am just going to do a trial and see how it goes. I um, am pretty strict with my fasting other than drinking the Element while I'm fasting. I drink black coffee and I will drink like carbonated water that's unflavored. So I'm going to do a trial and I'm going to start just drinking either regular water or the raw. I'm going to order some of the raw because I'm out of it and drink that while I'm fasting. And then later on in the day, I will enjoy the flavored element. So I'm just going to try it just to see how I feel to see if, um, I don't know if I can maybe break the little weight loss stall that I have. So this morning I had black coffee and I have plain water here. And I am just gonna be drinking my water until I eat my first meal. In a little while I'm going to make my cloud bread recipe and I'll show you how I make it. It's really easy, it's two ingredients. And I haven't made it in a while. I have been going through recipes for my cookbook, working on my cookbook, and I came across the cloud bread recipe. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and get set up, and I will meet you in the kitchen when I make the cloud bread. I'll see you then. I have some eggs here that I have brought to room temperature, and I am going to separate these eggs. I have an electric mixer here. You need an electric mixer for this because you're going to whip your egg whites into stiff peaks. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate these eggs. I have another bowl for my eggs, for my yolks. Okay, so we're gonna do this with four eggs. You want to be real careful not to get any of the yolk in your egg whites because they won't whip up into peaks. My oven, if you heard that beep, always reminds me my oven is preheated to 300 degrees. You're going to use a low heat for these mixer on and I'm going to beat these egg whites until they form stiff peaks. Takes four to five minutes. While that is going on, I have four ounces of cream cheese here that I softened and I have my yolks here. I'm going to use my immersion blender and I'm going to whip these up while these are mixing. So I'm going to do it all at the same time.
show you here. My egg whites are stiff peaks. I'm going to put the egg yolk mixture into the egg whites and I'm going to fold them in gently with a spatula. You can see here, mixing it all together. Large baking sheet. You can use two smaller baking sheets, what it looks like. I'm gonna take a big spoonful. I'm just gonna spoon it out onto the parchment. You can use the spoon just to spread it out a little bit if you want. These pretty much stay the same size as what you put them on the sheet. I am gonna need another cookie sheet. These are gonna go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at 300 degrees. So I'll be back when they're done. So I forgot to show you these when I pulled them out of the oven. These are what they look like. I store them in a Ziploc baggie and keep them in the refrigerator. These are a very delicate, soft bread. They're not chewy at all. They're just very melt in your mouth. That is why they are named cloud bread because they are just like little puffs of clouds. And so I will break this open. I'm actually filming while I'm holding my phone right now. And I'll break it open so you can see what the inside looks like. And that is how you make cloud bread. So um, we decided to go out to breakfast today and it is just after, oh, it's actually almost 12.30 and we are at a little local Greek restaurant and we're getting breakfast. I have some coffee, we both have some coffee right now. A little cup of half and half and I got an omelet on the way. I'll show you that when it gets here. I got a Greek omelet. This has feta cheese and tomatoes and onions inside and I got tomato slices and coffee and Ed has just like fried eggs, sausage and tomatoes and coffee. I'm gonna have breakfast. I just got back from taking the dog for a walk. It's really nice and sunny out and it's still a little chilly out but it's actually warming up and I actually have my front door open right now just to get a little bit of fresh air and some sunlight in here. It's so refreshing. So I'll update you the next time that I eat. So I've been sitting here for the better part of the afternoon working on my cookbook and I'm happy to say that I have completed the um, rough draft of the cookbook. I still have to go through and edit it but it has come a long ways. Um, I have never written, hi kitty, a cookbook before, so I don't know how long the publishing part of it takes. Um, I don't know any of that yet, so I'm hoping that it will be out really soon for you guys. It um, is very exciting. So I am sitting here right now, I just made a big glass of the Element Raspberry Salt and I'm gonna sit here and drink my electrolytes and finish working on this. And then we are going to think about dinner. So I'll see you then. So it is dinner time and Ed is out heating up the griddle. And I wanted to show you what we're gonna be throwing on the griddle. I have some kibasa here and some onions and some cabbage and some bacon. Chopped it all up and we are gonna do a stir fry on the griddle with these lovely things here. So I'll show you what it looks like on the griddle and I'll show you what it looks like after it comes off the griddle. Stay tuned. Abachi. Abachi. <laughs> so good. Now, if you don't have a griddle, you could do this on, in a big like iron skillet on the stove top. All this is is cabbage onions, bacon, and kielbasa, and some salt, and pepper. I think we use the smoked salt, and we put butter on there. Redmond smoked salt. Redmond smoked salt, and we put butter on there. But look at that, it looks so good. It smells good too. Mm. 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 
Hibachi. Oh, yeah, baby. That's the money shot right there. Oh, yeah. Eating good tonight. Watch it. Yum. Don't, don't waste any. <laughs> that looks great. It's amazing how fast. I know. This is just maybe 10 minutes, 15 maybe. at the most. most. Yeah. I've already turned one burner off. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. goodness. All right. Okay, so this dinner looks delicious. I took the cloud bread that I made earlier today. We put it on the griddle just at the end and kind of warmed it up and I put some herb butter on top. This is what's for dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and eat and I'll be back in just a little bit to wrap up this video. Mm. So dinner was delicious and I am closing out the night with some of my favorite cinnamon tea. This is the hot cinnamon spice by Harney and Sons and it smells delicious. So I'm gonna go and have my tea. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Give me a thumbs up. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day and God bless.